She was dirty. She was dirty. Good morning, you guys. I'm here with my mom today. I will be collaborating with Arvin Alano and Brandy Jackson. I am absolutely obsessed with them. If you guys haven't heard of them, which impossible i'm sure you have i will leave their channels down below we're going to be collaborating to do something a little bit different a home goods haul but with a twist they're giving me a challenge today in terms of what to find in home goods so stay tuned to see what that is and i will meet you guys at home goods once again i'm with my mom so you know dito sure to bring the spice we're gonna have some fun and i will see you guys once we get to the store angle yes Guys, Perfect. I'm stressed. I am not used to. By the way, I'm in the drive-thru, so don't come for me. We're getting some Dunkin' before Home Goods. Also, guys, don't mind my hair. I um usually I curl it, but I wasn't gonna waste my time. It's raining, it wouldn't have fallen anyway, so. Yep. We're <laughs> it's a humidity. Yeah, it is. High it humidity, is. But it's very high. So nothing would have worked. We need just fall weather. All right, I'm going up. It's my turn in line. We made it to Home Goods, not in the nick of time because it's pouring now, friends. So I told my mom, I'm like, we're gonna wait into the car, into the car. We're gonna wait in the car until it slows down a little bit. But I just got a message from Arvin and Brandy. I'm gonna leave it right over here. Hey Crystal, it's Arvin here. I actually just wanted to check in to see how your shopping was going and I want to give you a little challenge. I know you posted your closet not too long ago and I feel like a new closet needs some good organization pieces. Now, I'm thinking like baskets, woven baskets and line them up against the shelves, use them as organization. And I feel like a new closet also needs a really beautiful rug. So while you're at the rug section, I want you to do a little dance move, a little Arvin rug show moment, and I can't wait to see what you find. Hey Crystal, I hope that you're having such a great time shopping. I wanted to give you a challenge to shop vintage at, or vintage inspired. For me, I think the number one thing that elevates a home is vintage pieces or vintage inspired pieces. Not only does it allow your home to feel and look developed over time, but you can start collecting vintage pieces where it really does develop over time. If you don't find any vintage pieces that you love, look for vintage inspired pieces like those beautiful gold mirrors at home goods that I've seen, even hand woven rugs or Turkish inspired rugs. I think those give a vintage feeling that really elevates your space. So have fun. And challenge accepted. I am about to go in there and take on this challenge by the neck and make it my you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned. I'm going in there to grab whatever necessary for my closet. And I will show you guys what's new in store as well. So good. And even the orange one with the pumpkins, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the wit. Oh, it's connected. The witch hat. They have a brown one too. Oh, that the for a bar, and then I think these are dope for the dining room table. I set this up just like this in the office, but I wanted to do a candle situation in the dining room with a ton of different size glass cylinders. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> my mom is such an instigator, but look at Brewville up in Home Goods. This is so off task. Arvin and Brandy are going to be like, girl, <laughs> you are not looking at the right stuff. But I had to show you guys Brewville Smart Oven for $159. I like this. Yeah, that's like a um, tea maker. Tea maker. Yeah, tea maker. If nice. only they had the espresso machine on my mission that Arvin appointed me to for storage and they have like the worst selection <laughs> although this one is kind of cute 
How much? She's twenty dollars. Home goods. Get it together. Like Ma is just not impressed either. <laughs> and Ray Dunn needs to lock it up. Comment down below if you're with me on that. I am screaming on the inside, you guys. I'm literally screaming because I can't scream on the outside. Arvin would be so proud. Oh my god. I can't believe I found it. I mean, if you guys watch Arvin's channel, then you already know. Do we get her? Do we get her? So, like... we were here there was some drama well not we because it was just me there was some drama with the manager and she was just rude as hell and now we're walking out and it had nothing to do with the employee of the store but this woman walked out and the guy was like you have a good day and she was like actually how about you have a good day the store is dirty as hell I came in here looking for a garbage pail oh the irony like just like that <laughs> she was like oh the irony I came in here looking for a garbage pail I didn't find anything it's dirty in here and just so no. rude. You didn't I hear did, her? I didn't hear the phone. She said, oh, the irony no. of me coming in here to no. look for a garbage I pail. Think she was dirty. She was dirty because the store was pretty clean. I it mean, was. it's super stock. stocked. Stocked. <laughs> stocked, guys. Stocked. Stocked. And, and they have a lot of nice things. I mean, she's lucky it wasn't me on out there because, I mean, I would have told her straight out. And listen, man, with all due respect, go home. I got somebody that support me. So I would have just tell her off. Would it would have been on? That's for sure. She's dead ass. All right, guys, <laughs> we're gonna go mm -hmm. to another store. It's hot. Like I'm sweating. My hair got wet in the yeah. rain. I'm feeling a little flustered, but and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna ha have my Duncan. She's gonna have her Duncan, and you know what? Cheers, mom. Cheers. So am I, cause we need it. We'll catch you guys at the next store dried florals these are really nice guys I always come to the wreath aisle so we're at a different home goods now these are nice 59 who makes this they sell a ton of these on Etsy for like a hundred dollars look at that Look at the moss, Mom. Mm -hmm. To put. Mm -hmm. Orange chair. I think they're gonna have baskets, but I wanted to show you guys all the frames. Ma, are you taking a break? Yes. <laughs> guys, this only store too. She's already tired. Look at all these frames. I love the black ones. So they sell those black frames identical at um, Crate and Barrel for like literally double the price. So Serena and Lily dupes. I think I'm gonna pick more up. I have the other two in my the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I took them from the foyer though. Mm. Look, they even have the big one. But I don't see any baskets for the closet. No, for the closet, no. That's going to be a closet. Literally. You guys saw in the clip before this one, we went to a second home goods and it wasn't very successful behind me. I picked up 
one of those baskets. I went to get two of them, but the big one was messed up and I didn't even want to deal with getting it and having to glue it because I just feel like if I buy something, I want it to be already ready not you know unraveling so i left it but i did pick up one and hopefully maybe i can use this one in the closet if not somewhere in the house but guys honestly i said i was gonna take on arvin and brandy's challenge and i am failing miserably there is just nothing no baskets that i can organize with in store i didn't even find a rug for the closet or maybe i'm just really picky but I didn't want to rush it, and like Brandy says, I want to be really intentional with my purchases, so I just, I'm not going to rush anything. So if I don't pick up what I'm supposed to for the challenge, it's just because I haven't been able to find anything. But I will show you guys what I picked up when we get home. Right now, we're stopping at Taco Co. to get some lunch, and then we're just going to go home. So I will check back in when we're inside. Maybe I can do like a little sneak peek of what we get and show you guys what we're eating for lunch. You guys, I really forgot to take a clip. We were so hungry, so we have marks and tacos. Well guys, I made it back home in one piece. My mom and I went out to lunch after we traveled to two different home goods. And I basically showed you what I got in store, but I wanted to come home, sit down in the studio and just go through everything one by one with you. Arvin, I failed the challenge. I couldn't find any baskets for the closet except for this one, you guys. And so this is the one, hold on, making a mess. This is the one with the lid so this is a serena and lily dupe if you guys aren't familiar with her her baskets that look identical to this are like 125 maybe 130 per basket so i got this one for 39 dollars major steal i may put this in the closet so i didn't entirely fail but i didn't find what i was looking for which that happens you guys have to be on it with home goods you have to check in frequently because their stock changes and they never really know what they're gonna get so that's okay i still scored some really cute things for the house nonetheless which i wanted to share with you so if you're familiar with the glass cylinders that they sell at crate and barrel they are very expensive and they had a ton of them i believe i took a clip on home goods so you probably saw already but they had a ton of them in store and so I picked up a few of these for I was thinking maybe the dining room table or my entryway table so I'm gonna set these up there different sizes I got a ton of different sizes that I'm going to style up like I can't explain how but you'll see I'll keep you guys updated on any changes that I make with decor in my house on YouTube but also on Instagram stories so if you don't follow me I will leave my Instagram name right here. I'm always on stories sharing what I changed. So these are definitely gonna go either on the dining room table or in the foyer with white candles. I did something similar in my office. So once again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check out my office highlight. So chic and it looks really good. So those were a no brainer. And then lastly, I'm gonna turn the camera. You may see my mess in my studio, but we're real here keeping it super real with you guys, especially today. My mom was like on a kick like, girl, if you don't just show up as you and stop worrying about how you look. So I'm taking my mom's advice and just being super real and transparent. Are you kidding? I finally found the mirror that Arvin posted literally maybe two weeks or even a month ago that I have been on the hunt for. So that was my score of the day. It is an Anthro Our House Mirror dupe for $150. It's stunning. I'm gonna style it most likely in the office, but I am gonna try to see how I can finagle it if I can in my walk-in closet. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give you guys a full-on video update on the walk-in closet, reno, my studio. I have so much more to come, but this was just a fun collab video with Arvin and Brandy to showcase what we have in our area at Home Goods and give each other challenges. So it was so much fun doing this video. If you guys haven't already, check arvin and brandy's channel out they are literally goals no lie i watch them every single day on instagram on youtube i keep up with them constantly brandy actually she influenced these little cute earrings and whatnot i love everything she posts and then arvin influences everything now in my house so check them out tell them that i sent you i was so excited to be able to do this collab with them and if you do let me know your thoughts i can't wait for you guys to see their videos and 
that is it for mine it was short and sweet but to the point you guys know that's how I am on YouTube and I will be coming up with more videos so soon I promise if you haven't already I would so appreciate it if you can click the like button and hit that subscribe button don't be shy like hello click it hit it subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon with another video bye guys <laughs>